I have so much stuff all over my craft room and I need to get organized. So thanks to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I'm going to get organized in my craft room, label, and do everything to make it easier to find my stuff. If you can relate to this problem, you definitely want to stick around and watch this video. And as a happy bonus of organizing my craft room, I'm going to give away two different bags of stash because I have way too much and you should be able to have some of it and then I can get rid of it too. There's going to be a question at some point in this video and I want you to answer it in the comments. Don't say it's the answer, just put it in there. That way nobody can cheat and then I will randomly pick of the people who answered the question and do a drawing and I will let you know by announcing it on my community tab and responding to your comments telling you that you are the winner. I'm sorry, but this can only be for U.S. mailing addresses. Good luck to everyone, and I hope you're the winner. Besties, my craft room is a hot mess. Now, I won't be able to get it all done. Look at that. I've written on the plastic bins. There's no labels on anything. That's a hard thing. I don't know what's in these gray boxes. So let's get this done. I'm going to use my Cricut Joy. It's a smart cutting machine. So easy to use and there's an app that you can use to design and you can personalize things and you really don't have to have any design experience at all. It's not complicated. Actually, this is the most affordable of all the Cricut machines and honestly, all the gifts I've given people, it's paid for itself. The Cricut Design Space is a free app you can use for your designs and it's very easy. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. And then Cricut has all kinds of high quality materials that literally help you make whatever it is that you need to make. The first thing I'm going to use today is the smart label. It's the writable vinyl for the joy. And then I'm also going to use some of this premium vinyl in different colors that I'll have to cut down for my joy. So now I'm in Cricut Design Space. And when you go in there, you start a new project and then you, in this case, I'm looking for a shape. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose a rectangle and I end up actually making it into a square at some point, but I started with a rectangle and now I'm just going to size it. I've already measured. I know where it's going to go and how big it needs to be. So I'm able to do that by hitting edit and then adjusting manually the width and the height and that's actually the fastest way to do it even though there's a grid on the screen that you can just follow if you don't want to have to do it this way. I think I just got in the habit of doing this now. Now once I've done that I need to pick some text so I'm going to push the text button and I'm going to type my first word which is toys because that's going to go in one of my bins and I want to label it toys. Type the word toys choose the font I want. In this case, I actually wanted the very basic font. Otherwise, there's thousands of fonts on there. And now I just skipped ahead here and showed you three different labels that I made. And then what I'm going to do is say I'm doing this without a mat because it's smart vinyl. Next, it's going to show me what it's going to look like on the mats. I need to make sure that my labels are there right the way that shows. And then I click make it and I'm going to say what material I'm using. And it's going to be that smart label writable vinyl. I'm going to choose that one and then it's going to tell me to go ahead and choose the pressure that I want. Here I am putting the pen in because I'm going to be using a pen to write these labels. I'm not cutting this, I'm writing this one. So I'm going to take the blade out, put the pen in, and there you can see now it's telling me to load my material. So I'm going to put it in there and it'll, it'll pull it through, make sure there's enough room to do this particular design, and then it will start preparing to cut. In this case, it's writing. Whatever's in that little slot is what it's going to do. If it's a blade, it'll cut. If it's a pen, it will write. And that's what it's doing right now. You can see it's kind of fun to watch because it does the inside of the letters first so it's kind of funny. Anyway once it's done it'll tell you to unload and you hit a button on your phone and it comes out and you can see my labels. Now I'm using cardboard because I'm trying to save money and so I've got all these cardboard pieces that I cut out. They were like three by three and then I used that pretty colorful vinyl and I had the squares cut to match on the back so that way there's just not plain cardboard on the back. I wanted it to look nice on the back. You guys know me I love finishing the back of everything. And now I'm going to use the cutter from Cricut and just cut out my labels. I ended up not wanting those lines around the word, so I ended up trimming those off because it just didn't really work out for me. But that would be cute if you wanted to do that as part of a design. So I always tear off or pull back a little bit of the backing first, line that up before I take the whole thing off because then I can avoid wrinkles and bubbles and so on. And you can see what I just did right now. And then I've got these little mini clothespins and I'm going to hot glue them right to the back top center of each of the labels. That way I can clip them onto my little bins and change them out whenever I want. Nothing's permanent. 
So now I'm back in design space. I want to look for a tree because I want to designate which one of my bins has only Dollar Tree items since I do so many Dollar Tree crafts. Just makes it easier for me to find them. So I'm going to search for tree. There are so many, 10,000 plus images. So I picked this one. Don't worry about the colors because I'm going to print the whole thing on a green premium vinyl because I want it to kind of remind me of Dollar Tree. So right now I'm just going to size it. I decided how big I wanted it to be. I'm going to go into edit, change the width and the height to whatever I want, and then lock that in so that that I don't accidentally change the size. You know, those little squares around that image, you could drag them either way. And so if you don't lock it, that's what would happen. I'm gonna hit duplicate till I get three of them. I'm gonna take my finger and drag around all three of them. I'm going to group them and attach them so they will cut together. It's gonna to ask me if I want it on a mat and I am gonna put it on a mat and just the usual questions. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my mat in and it will start cutting. After it's finished, what I do is turn my mat over and pull the vinyl away from the mat. That way it doesn't curl up. And I cut off what I needed and now I'm just trimming it down. See the little trees? And then I'm gonna take my scraper and make sure that they are burnished right on there. And then I'm gonna just do it by hand. I'm not gonna use transfer tape because it'll rip those labels, but I'm just gonna put the little tree on there. Now I'm back in design space. This time I'm just gonna cut out red vinyl to put actual words on some plastic bins. And since I've already shown you this, I'm just gonna skip ahead to the point where it's cutting, and there it goes. Now I'm going to remove the vinyl from the mat. I'm gonna cut it into the pieces of what each section of words is, and then I'm gonna get out my transfer tape. But first I'm gonna weed it. So I'm gonna get, first I like to get the middle of the letters that have those little middle pieces. Then I take the piece all the way around, and that helps to only leave the letters behind. And of course, every once in a while I catch a little middle of a letter somewhere. And then I'm gonna take the transfer tape, and I'm just gonna cut it to size. And you can usually use one piece for like two or three, at least, different ones. And these are the plastic bits. By the way, I have to get off that permanent marker that I used before. So either alcohol or would you believe aerosol hairspray will do it. So that's how I got rid of it. And now I'm just going to place the transfer tape. I like to put it from one side to the other. And then I'm going to burnish over that to make sure that the letters stick to it. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to pull the backing away that leaves the word, the letters on the transfer tape. And then I'm just gonna put it right where I want it on the side of the bin. And I'm just gonna burnish over that and then slowly pull back the transfer tape. And if I need to scratch a little harder to leave some on there, I will do that. And that's all there is to that. And now look how much nicer my craft room is looking. Look at every bin has a label. I know what's in there now. And it's for function more than anything. But then you see the little trees. So I know what came from Dollar Tree and what didn't. Hey, listen, I was wondering if you could tell me, do you have bins that are all the same color or do you have a bunch of different ones or like half one half another kind let me know down in the comments that's a great question for you to answer to get in the giveaway and I'm just giving you a little bit of a close-up I've got a lot more work to do in my craft room, but I figured this was a huge start. And of course, I found all these extra things that are going to go in the giveaway, and I can't wait to package those up and send them to the two lucky winners. And there's a lot of fraud out there, so I will never ask you for any bank information, account information. When If you are the winner, all I will need is your address to send it to you. You know, our craft rooms are never perfectly clean because the minute we start using them again, you know, they get dirty and I'm always reorganizing. So I do it in sections and I do it the best that I can and just hope that I can get better each time. And I think this was a huge improvement. And I really think that using my Cricut Joy helps so much because I just like the way they look more uniform. You know, I can write them, but they wouldn't look the same. I can still see through them, but then that red vinyl just really jumps out and I can see exactly what's in them and I can read what I said is in there and I am so excited I don't know I'm one of those people who likes things to look nice I mean they don't have to be beautiful they just have to look orderly and then I'm really happy anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helped you and maybe you will even kind of consider wanting to try a Cricut Joy or if you have one and you haven't used it this is a great time to just open it up get it out of the package and give it a try I promise you it's way less intimidating than you are imagining don't forget to answer the question down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. You are truly a blessing to me. And if you enjoyed this video or you like the crafts that I make, I'll have another video on the screen and you can click on that. And if you do, I will see you there. Until next time. Bye. It's where the lights are red. I've been hiding the world safely in my head. Where nobody's ever 